Welcome to the Heart Centered Entrepreneur Podcast. I want you to be rich. Yes, I want abundant financial success for your business. But I don't just care about your business making money. I care about you too. I want you to be rich in happiness, in the impact you make, in your relationships, and in how you give back. I'm Anna. I built my six-figure business as a side hustle while I was pregnant with my daughter in 2016. Now I've helped dozens of women do the same. I'm here to help you build a profitable, heart-centered, fully booked business with the latest tips on sales and visibility, with proven mindset hacks, and sneak peeks behind the scenes with what's working right now in the online space and in my business. Ready to make more money with heart? Let's go. Hola, amigas. Feliz Dia del Amor y de la Amistad, or in English, Happy Valentine's Day. I love, though, that in Spanish, it's called Happy Day of Love and Friendship. And I always loved Valentine's Day, loved it, always have, always will. And I love it today because I've always seen it that way. Even though America, it's more geared towards romance, I really see it as a time when we can tell the women in our life, we love them so damn much. And I just want to take a minute to tell you, podcast listener, I love you. I just feel like life is so short and we can't hold back from sharing our love and affection. And I just have so much intimacy, love, and gratitude for you being here and that we can build our businesses together and that we can, you know, do this thing where like I'm recording this podcast right now in my dream home that my business bought me. My door is open. I'm in San Diego. The weather is 74 degrees and perfect. And I spent some time yesterday outside just laying in my backyard. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful for this life and for you that, you know, for the past eight years, we've done this heart-centered entrepreneur thing together. So if no one's wished you happy Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. If no one's bought you flowers, go and buy yourself some damn flowers from Trader Joe's for five bucks and treat yourself well. Treat treat yourself like a queen. Feel and be filled with love, you know, and know that I love you. And if no one's wished you happy Valentine's Day, come into my DM inbox and let me know. And I'm happy to send you a voice note and just wish you the warmest Valentine's Day. I just feel like it's a time to celebrate. Like, why not? Like, I feel like, yes, guys are awesome, blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like female friendships are everything. And when I think about, you know, in my life, you know, my female friends just are my rock, are my stability. And Ruby Kapur has this amazing quote that just talks about, you know, on the days that she was at her darkest, it was women that came to water her feet. And I just feel like it's me that I feel that same way a hundred percent. I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you today and saying a prayer. The current thing I have open in my business right now is my 12 week coaching program for women that want to become coaches or are coaches and are not yet fully booked or service providers that want to add a coaching income stream to their business, no matter what niche it is, whether it's business coaching, life coaching, health coaching, social media stuff, right? Like you want to, you know, not do things for people, but you want to help people make breakthrough in their life, whether it's in their marriage or in a specific area. Um, and what I wanted to say is a message. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. I don't know about you, but I feel like in business, we all come across times or chapters that are difficult, are challenging, that really press us. And I just want to say, like, it's worth it, right? I always say sometimes, like, me and my team joke around, like, oh, I don't feel like working today, right? But of all the things I could do for work, this is what I'd want to be doing. And I think sometimes when I hear women talking about starting a business, they're not comparing apples to apples, right? They're like, you know, I don't want to do this for my business or I don't want to do that whether it's like reaching out to a potential client to pitch yourself or creating a reel on Instagram or like things that maybe aren't our favorite, right? Like what are we comparing it to, right? And it is having a day job. And to be honest, it's a pain in the ass, right? Like I know that entrepreneurship isn't for everyone, but I really wish, I feel like for women, entrepreneurship is for all women. (laughs) Like, I just feel like as women that are multi-passionate, as women that often have other priorities, such as children or aging loved ones, right? Like, I feel like having an online business is the biggest blessing. And even though there are small trade-offs, like having to do a lot of personal inner work, having to drop our ego at the door and get visible and sell, having to, you know, I feel like it's the fast path to growth. It's so much personal development and so much we're having to like, same thing with motherhood. I didn't realize motherhood would be me looking at my 
shiz in the mirror and is self-improving myself to be a better mama, right? In order to be a great business owner, in order to be a great coach, in order to be a great team leader, we have to self-improve and we have to push our limits. But I just feel like as women, that's what we were made for. We were born for. And we have like option A, which is like, you know, maybe we're not, you know, challenging ourselves as much. Maybe we're a little more, quote, comfortable. But I really feel like when I see women that are, quote, comfortable, they're not really that comfortable. We can either be miserable, in my opinion, not meeting our goals or miserable meeting our goals, right? I love how Brooke Castillo says, like, all of Life is 50% good emotion and 50% bad emotion, right? No matter how good of a mom you are, half of life is going to be hard moments and disappointments, right? No matter how brilliant and rich of a business owner you are, life is going to be half hard things and half good things, right? Like, and I think sometimes we make that mean that we're doing something wrong in business instead of like, oh no, this is just part of life, right? And I don't know. I just felt called to give this pep talk this week and remind you, if you are in the middle of a particularly challenging chapter where you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, maybe you've been working on one thing for a long time and you haven't been getting breakthrough. Maybe it's like getting more visible and growing your audience because you know that's the linchpin for you, right? Maybe you have a big audience, but you really need to master selling and improving your offers, right? Maybe you're at capacity and you're really needing to scale and grow by hiring more team members and working on your management skills, right? right? Maybe it's you really needing to double down on your money mindset and your money management, right? For these long-term goals, when we're in them, you know, it's not a straight path to breakthrough. It's not a straight path to success. Sometimes it's like two steps back before two steps forward, right? I remember this when I was in my first three months of filling my coaching practice. There were some weeks where I would get a lot of momentum and sign a lot of clients. And then there were four weeks where I would do nothing, like nothing would happen. I'd be working, working, and I wouldn't sign a single client, right? So I think it's just remembering, like, unlike a day job in business, results aren't linear, right? Results come in bursts, and you may be right on the other side of a big burst. You know, one of my favorite stories is during the pandemic, during my divorce, when I was living with my parents, going through a lot of transition, we had, you know, over 15 monarch butterflies hatch in my parents' backyard. And I just know that was God's gift to me to remind me that, wow, like miracles can happen and these beautiful caterpillars, like we saw them before our eyes hatch into these gorgeous monarch butterflies. Like what a miracle of life, right? And I just think sometimes like in our in our most challenging chapters, sometimes we need a sign, whatever is from you, whether it's God or the universe. And maybe you need to pray and ask for, you know what? I'm feeling really challenged right now. I need a sign. And I think God shows up for us when we ask for that, right? The universe, she gives us these little winks, right? And maybe you need that. And I just want to say, I believe in you. What you're doing, what you're going towards is worth it. You will and can receive breakthrough. And I'm cheering for you, whether you are one of my clients, you know that I love you, whether you've just been an audience member and maybe we've never chatted before. I love you the same and know that I think of you. I pray for you. I send you positive energy as you are doing the divine work of growing your business. I believe it is a spiritual practice to grow your business, to be a coach, to serve online. Like for me, I feel like my business is, yes, my life and the way I make money and blah, blah, blah. But it really has become my calling you know, a lot of people ask me like why I started my business. And yes, it was because blah, blah, blah. I like to help people. But honestly, it was also because I needed to make money in a more remote way, in a way that created, you know, safety for my babies and I, we were not in a very good situation. And it really was kind of out of survival providing for my babies mode. But over time, now that my babies and I are safe and provided for, it really has become a passion and a calling and a, a thing that I feel like is my, my spiritual practice is the thing that I, I want to do for the rest of my life. I hope that I, you know, someone was asking me like, Anna, why don't you have more support, support coaches in your programs? And a lot of my clients do have support coaches in their programs as they grow and scale. And I think that's great. But for me, honestly, I wouldn't want to do my business if I, in my course, wasn't meeting with those ladies. If in my 
mastermind. I wasn't meeting with those ladies. Like those are my favorite days are when I get to coach. And yes, I enjoy marketing. Yes, I found ways to sell that I really like. But at the end of the day, I love coaching and I was born to coach and I was born to to help people. And I really see the breadcrumbs of how I've been doing that in all of my careers and many levels. And I'm so glad I released my money blocks and my rigid thinking so that I could really receive a lot of money for my passion, really receive a lot of money for um, my skill set. And I think a lot of women, what's holding them back from receiving a ton of money as a coach is a lot of rigid thinking around being able to receive a lot of money for their soft skill, right? As women, traditionally, historically, we have not received a lot of money for a lot of our skills as women. And so I think we're in a new age, a new era. Like I even think back to, you know, 20 years ago when our moms were younger, they didn't have the internet. They didn't have Zoom. They didn't have a way to serve people around the world, to work from their homes. Like I just feel like we're in a new era that almost can feel a little bit too good to be true. And so it, we can be like, like for me, I think I told you guys, I spent like months Googling like, like, is it ethical to coach? Like, is it, you know, I have one of my amazing clients who's a therapist t- tell me this amazing sentence. And she was like, I finally realized, you know, cause she was battling, like, can I coach? Is it ethical to coach as a therapist? And she was like, I realized coaching is just a smaller piece under therapy, right? Like, I don't know. I just feel like we have so many mindset blocks around, you know, being able to make money in a way that is just under our own hat, right? Like I will be a social media manager for you and you can PayPal me for it, right? I will help you with your health and become healthier and you can PayPal me for it, right? Like it is so simple that it feels complex, right? It's so aligned that it can feel out of alignment, right? (laughs) It's kind of a trip. Anyway, this was a little bit more ranty of a podcast episode, but I just wanted to say I'm thinking about you and sending you so much love. And I just felt like the reminder of it's worth it. It's worth it. Breakthrough is around the corner. Breakthrough is near for you. And I'm so excited for whatever is in store for you next. If you are someone that is a coach and you're looking to sign your first or next coaching client, I have an amazing free 20 minute webinar that is one simple strategy to sign your next five paying coaches coaching clients. You're going to love it. And if you watch it, I send you $3 PayPal money after so that you can take action on what you learned at your local coffee shop, right? You know, I'm a big fan of like not just learning information, but taking action. And that's why I made the webinar only 20 minutes and only the most, like I spent a long time creating this 20 minute webinar because I really want to do the front work to make it most efficient to save you a lot of time. So head over and grab the free training, do the worksheet that comes with it. And um, I actually look at the worksheet for you and give you some feedback and really send you on your way in a practical way, because I really would love to see you succeed and grow your beautiful coaching business. Okay, loves. Again, happy Valentine's Day. And hopefully I will see you in the free workshop. Thanks for hanging out today. Please hit that subscribe button so you can make sure to stay updated anytime a new episode drops. And I would love for you to join me in my free Facebook community. It's called The Heart Centered Entrepreneur. We discuss the podcast episodes. I regularly go live and do free trainings. And you may even meet your newest biz bestie. So you can join at heartcenteredcommunity.com. It's absolutely free. And I cannot wait to see you in there.